Hey guys, this is Saif Din Ghanizada. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how you can configure a Cisco access point model 541N. The default IP for this access point is 192.168.10.10. And you need to assign an IP address from this range to your laptop Ethernet adapter. For that purpose, open network connections by writing ncpa.cpl in the run and then click OK. Right click on the Ethernet adapter, click on properties, double click on the IP version 4, assign the IP address manually. It will automatically obtain the subnet mask and you have to manually write the default IP address of the access point in the default gateway. Click OK. Click OK. If you are asked for permission, click on Yes. Open your browser. Write the default IP address of the access point and press Enter. The default username and password is Cisco. All the letters are small. Write down the username and password. Click on Login. This is the installed page of the access point. I will cover only a few basic options in this video like setting an admin password, configuring a secured wireless network, Mac filtering, taking backup from existing configuration, restoring a configuration, software upgrade, LAN settings and time settings. The first menu that we will be discussing on is status. In the status here you can see the device information, what is the product name, product version, what is the software version, serial number and what is the device description. The network interface and the status menu will show you what kind of SSID it is broadcasting, what is the MAC address, is it enabled or disabled. Traffic status tech menu and the status will show you the traffic status of the access point. Associated clients, it will show you how many devices are currently connected to your access point, how many packets they have sent, how many packets they have received, what packets are dropped, and what packet have successfully reached the station. The next menu is setup. In the LAN menu, you can configure a manual IP address for the access point or you can either use the default one which is a DHCP. I will assign a static IP address from class A. I will also change the name of the access point to tech for all and then click on apply. It's giving me a message that the wireless setting will be updated and I will not be able to access the access point with this IP address. I have to manually assign an IP address of this range to my computer. That's okay. Click on okay. Wait till the access point is rebooted. You can use the time and assign an IP address to your computer from this range. Open network connections, right click on the Ethernet adapter, go to properties, click on IPv4, then click on properties, assign the IP address from the range that you have given to the access point. The default gateway will be the IP address of the access point. Click OK, click close, wait till the changes are effected. Now open the browser. Write down the new IP address of the access point and press enter. I haven't changed the default username and password which is Cisco. Click on login. Go to setup. As you can see, my device name is changed to tech for all and I have assigned a static IP address. You can also change the time setting of the wireless router by clicking on the time setting. You have two options if you have an NTP server you have to write down the NTP server here and you can also assign the time manually. So I will assign the time manually. Today is 29 July 2019. You can change the time zone. I will change it to Afghanistan.
after you have manually assigned the time, click apply. Time of the access point is successfully updated. The next menu that we will be discussing on is wireless. Under wireless menu, there is an option wireless radio setting. The default configuration is enabled, but the wireless radio interface is off. Click on and then click on apply. Click on OK. The next menu is wireless network setup. Here you can see the access point is broadcasting to SSIDs. I will use the first SSID for my employees and will rename it to Tech for All. I will select the security type WAPA Personal. I will write down the security key here. And I will use the second SSID for my guest network. And we'll select the security type WAPA Personal. And then click on Apply button. The next menu is MAC filtering. You can use the MAC filtering in two methods. The first one is allow stations in the list. All the MAC addresses that will be listed here will be able to access the network. And the second method is block all the station in the list. All those MAC addresses that will be listed in here will not be able to access the network. If you want to add a MAC address, click here, write down the MAC address and then click on add button. Let's go to administration menu. In administration menu, here you can provide the administrator information. I will write the administrator name administrator contact and the access point location using the change password menu you can change the password of the access point currently the password is the default password which is Cisco I will let it to be as it is the next menu is access point configuration the first option is restore factory defaults. Using this option, you can reset the access point to the factory defaults. The second menu is save and backup configuration. You can save the current configuration of your wireless access point using download button, click on download, and then click on OK. Here you can see that it's asking me for the place to save it. I will save it in the desktop by the name of config. The type will be XML. Click on save button. I have successfully saved the configuration of the access point. The next menu is restore configuration. Here you can restore a previous configuration of your access point. To do so, click on the choose file button. Choose the file and then click on open. After you have opened the configuration, click on upload button and the configuration will be restored. There is a reboot button also. Using this button, you can reboot your wireless access point. The next menu is software upgrade. Using the software upgrade menu, you can upgrade the software of your access point. To do so, click on choose button file, select the file, click on open and then click on upgrade button. It will take some time and then your wireless access point will be rebooted and the software will be upgraded. The next menu is event logs. In the event logs menu, you can check all the events of your wireless access point by detail. Support us by giving the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss an update from Tech for All. Thank you.